Jack says this, I am currently a middle school and high school teacher. You're a brave man. Due to my fi fiance, <laughs> when I first saw it, I thought finance, but okay. Due to my fiance relocating, I will be leaving my school at the end of this academic year. I've been here three years and it's the only school I've taught at in my career. I've made peace with leaving the area and beginning a new chapter, but my students do not yet know I'm leaving. As a teacher yourself, how would you recommend breaking the news to my students? Don't do it the way I did it. And looking forward uh, towards the rest of the year, how would you recommend that I set them up for success with a teacher in the future and encourage them to continue taking the subject without me? I like this question. Jack goes on, I have a large guilt complex at the moment, and since I have a great rapport with my students, I feel that many may quit the program if I live, if I leave. For reference, the class is semi-elective, especially for the upperclassmen, and I am the only teacher at my school teaching the subject. Well, yeah, famously I broke uh, the news that I was leaving at the junior ring ceremony, and uh, my godchild Amanda is still mad at me about that. Um... I'd be candid up front, tell them earlier than later. Um, I would model, be the best role model I could possibly be in the, the next few months. For example, you know, show up on time, you know, get the job done, get your grades in early, you know, whatever dress you have to have professionally for this particular job, you dress professionally, lead. Um, I would leave. I would type up some ideas for the person following you. Uh, it's a thing I do. I did as a teacher all the time. In fact, this is the time of year I did it. Every April, I would take out a piece of paper, a little different back then, and I would write out the, le you know, the, the biggest part of the list was don't do these stupid things at any time, you know. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't collect term papers on the last day of the term. That You can't be stupider than that. Um, I, uh, that's when I, that's when I came up with the idea of, uh, I started doing uh, larger and larger reading comprehension questions because in my fields, history, poli sci, even economics, religious studies, religious education, and theology, being able to read and understand something um, and then do something with it is, is one of the most important skills. Reading comprehension is a massive skill in my world. And oddly, it's a skill I don't see many people have online. Um, you know, so I, I, that's, I came up, I was working on that idea. I wrote it down and I spent the summer starting to cut and paste readings. Uh, literally back then it was, you know, scissors and paper. And then I would, uh, Xerox it onto the, oh, a lot more, so much more work. Um, I figured out a way to kind of get it done where, uh, on a test I would have, you know, the, these are for questions one through seven. These are for questions you know, 22 to 31 and, and they would have, so there was a reader on the, uh, and then, so the test was here and there was a reader here, but once we got, we were able to cut and paste with, uh, computers. I didn't have to do that anymore. Boy, that saves so much time. But, uh, as always, man, I, I, I just, uh, Jack, you know, it's be a professional, be a professional, be a professional. And, uh, that's hard. Um, be a professional. Um, uh, help help the uh, incoming teacher by maybe uh, you know outlining some things, outline what, what you're trying to do. Um, by the way, this would be a real value for you at the next job because anytime you think about what you were trying to do, it carries over to every other aspect of life. Uh, I, I think thinking is underrated. I don't think a lot of people do it. Um, so yeah, so I hope that helps. Uh, congratulations. And I, I, what an honor it is to have your students even miss you. As for when to tell them, uh, just, you know, I don't know what kind of course this is. You were, you were vague on that. But just, you know, try to be honest and candid, and that will help a lot. Thank you.